Now we're going to select a new file. We're going to pick a line survey and we're going to select our electrode spacing to be 5 meters. We're going to increase our grid size to the maximum 72 electrodes and create an automatic grid using the create grid button. Then we're going to come across into the configuration tab. Here we're going to select our electrode array to be dipole dipole and change the sequence name to reflect this. We're then going to concentrate just on measuring row. We're going to set our Q max to 2 with our minimum stacks at 3 and our maximum stacks at 6. We're then going to select save energy mode and limit to 800 volts between A and B. For our first A spacing we're going to drag the number of depth levels we require, in this case 6. We're then going to widen our A spacing to 2 times A and select another 6 depth levels so that the last one overlaps with the same depth level from before. We are then going to increase our A spacing again and drag a further 6 depth levels. As you can see, the number of depth levels in each A spacing is equal to 6. So we will use 6 in our number of channels used to allow for optimization of the injection of the current from the Cisco. When we create our sequence, we can see that the quadrupoles and the injections give us a time of 51 minutes, but when optimised this reduces to 24 minutes. We then enter a name to save our sequence as, and we can go to view the graph. Here you can see the A spacing, the 2A spacing, and then the 3A spacing. You can also see the maximum depth level and this gives good coverage at 20 meters. You can also see the time 